A rare species of primrose is being studied. The population P of primroses at time t years after the study is uh, after the study started is modelled by the equation given there. Part A. Calculate the number of primroses at the start of the study. So start of the start of the study, I'm thinking that t is zero. So if I substitute that into my model, I can say that p is equal to 800 e to the power 0 divided by 1 plus 3 e to the power 0. e to the power 0 is 1. So I get 800 over 1 plus 3. So 800 over 4 is 200. So there were 200 primroses at the beginning. Part B. Find the exact value of t when p is 250. Giving my answer in the form a, l, and b. So, when was p 250? So let's put 250 into the model instead of p. And we are going to rearrange this equation and solve it to find out what t is. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply both sides of this by the 1 plus e, uh, 1 plus 3e e to the 0.1t. Just to get rid of the fraction. <coughs> Next, I'm going to expand the brackets. And then I'm going to group up the e, the exponential terms. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to take away the 750e to the 0.1t off both sides. So 800 times uh, 800 take away the 750 is 50. I am now going to divide both sides by 50. So 250 divided by 50 is 5. Now I have finally got the exponential term to be all by itself. Now I can take logarithms of both sides. So ln5 equals 0.1t, which is the same as 1 tenth t, times both sides by 10. So 10 ln 5 is t. So that is my answer for part b. Part c. I need to show that p can be written in this form here. So let's just compare that to what I started with. So I started with 800 e to the 0.1t on the numerator. And I have ended up with just 800. So what's happened here is I have divided the numerator by e to the 0.1t. Now obviously you can't just divide the numerator unless you also divide the denominator at the same time. Let's see the consequences of that. So the 800 e to the 0.1t divided by e to the 0.1t, well, these terms will just cancel out and I will just get 800. Similarly, similarly, on the bottom, the 3e to the 0.1t divided by the e to the 0.1t will now just be 3. The only other thing I need to think about is the 1 divided by the e to the 0.1t. Well, 1 over e to the 0.1t, I could just write that as e to the minus 0.1t. And there we go. This is the same thing as this. 
So my clue here was to look at the numerator here, look at the numerator here. Notice that we have divided by e to the 0.1t and then do the same with the rest of the fraction. Finally, part D of the question. Hence, why can the population not exceed 267? Well, what's going to happen after a long period of time? We can see that the uh, primroses be uh, primroses are being studied, and we can see that they are increasing in number. They're growing. We can see there's 200 at the beginning. Um, there were 250 after 10 LN5 um, years. So we can see they're growing. So what is going to happen to them after a long period of time as T tends towards infinity, as it becomes a really big number? It says hence. So we are looking at what we've just written down here. We're looking at this. The t only appears once there in this term here. So what happens to that as t tends towards infinity? Try and remember the exponential graph of e to the minus x, or minus t, if you like. It looks like that. So as t becomes a large number, we can see that the exponential tends towards zero. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So this term here will tend towards zero. Therefore, the population will tend towards 800 over 3, which is... 266.6. So the population will get towards 266.6. So, um, so the population is going to keep on getting bigger, 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 but it is only ever going to get closer and closer and closer to 266.6. It cannot, therefore, it can not exceed. 267. It won't even reach 267 from what we've just seen. It's just going to get close to 266.6 .6 according to this model.